So welcome, my name is Farid. This is a, a very brief tutorial uh, about m mapping velocity uh, to the color. So I'm using Houdini here because uh, um, the the example or the questions uh, was uh, about Houdini, and it's just si simpler in Houdini to uh, visualize what I'm going to talk uh, about it. Uh, it's a brief tutorial, as I said, it's, it's nothing uh, special, just to um, uh, give an idea to the people, um, and especially for the, the one who asked the questions. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, so what we're going to I, I don't have any uh, Naiad mesh in, uh, to import, uh, because I'm on another computer, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to use a particle, so inside, uh, just to, to, uh, to show you this. The, the, uh, for demonstration uh, purposes, so I'm going to use a, uh, a simple example that I'm going to build. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, put an emitter in, uh, in the scene you know, somewhere, you know, and uh, we can see that the particles are really nothing special. So let me give them a little bit of uh, of uh, first put more particle then. Uh, in the attribute, I'm gonna put the 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 velocity a little bit. Um, what I'm going? What I'm doing? Hey, hey! No, no, I'm too too lazy. Well, why revert to uh, delete channel? So, so zero two. <laughs> sorry, uh, revert zero two zero two to put some uh, variation. I, I just want them to go up so for better visualization very hard so they don't do anything uh, because I have variation here and uh, so I'm going to push that oh yeah, this is not good uh, <laughs> and now let us read one and uh, this is zero three something like that. I just want to have some 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 better motion something like this um, all right so what i have uh put some uh, some forces uh something like uh the curl noise or something like this just to uh give it a bit of shape shape uh yeah the frequency uh is too high it's good uh, it's too high uh put it something like 7.7 7 or something like this just to to visualize because i want them to uh to have so uh motion inside just let me hide the grid and uh, I don't have too much particle, so I just want to um, go um, again in the uh, where I am in the location and no, sorry, in the birth and put more particles, something like uh, ten thousand. It's not too much. When we talk about Nile, we talk about three million, four million, twenty million, thirty million. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, the question is, uh, uh, what are the use of the velocity? You know, uh, you can use it in. Uh, I'm, I'm, t I'm, I'm playing there with the particle, but uh, you can uh, apply the same example for measures, so for geometry, so to speak. Uh, <coughs> the velocity is um, uh, you can you can get uh, uh, many uh, the the, uh, the most um, uh, useful attribute that you can get from the velocity is the speed. Uh, whenever you calculate it inside Naiad, you know, uh, and export it as now um, in custom uh, attribute if you want, or uh, uh, or uh, you gonna you gonna calculate it uh, inside the shader shader uh, use it in the shader if you want so this is what we're going to do so uh, to do this I'm uh, I'm uh, oh man I'm gonna uh, maximize this uh, what I did before I do this uh, I just uh, it's really complicated what I'm doing here. So I have location and uh, the curl noise. No, I, ju I just want to feed a warp soap inside the uh, inside this. Uh, uh, to I, I no, no, not the warp net. Man, man, my mouse don't respond today. So uh, the warp soap, and with the warp soap, I can uh, I can uh, manipulate some. Uh, some attribute that existing in this uh, uh, that come with the this particle, you know. Uh, so we div inside with um, double click. Then I maximize this just to see what I have there. 
So I don't want to explain wha what's the global one and the output one, but I just want to let you explain this very easy. So uh, this here is the attribute that you have inside, um, whenever you feed it inside in uh, here. So uh, everything which uh, uh, inherit the particle, which uh, are um, uh, uh, the, the the particle have as an attribute will be uh, will be uh, will be seen in this in this node. So, for example, we have the point uh, po position, uh, we have the uh, w coordinate, we have the velocity attribute, acceleration, edge attribute, live blah 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 blah. If you want to, if you go uh, one step uh, back and you middle click, what the heck is here? So if you maybe click on the, for example, on the location, you can see that I have uh, here in the attribute, I have V uh, uh, for velocity and I have acceleration, I have life and PA state, ID and parent. So this is the attribute uh, that I have. So to speak is a global variable that exists in this uh, node, uh, uh, in, in, this, in this node. So if I go back again, just me, let me frame this. Um, so if I middle click, I have more attribute here. So I have um, uh, no, I don't have more attribute. Uh, <laughs> I have one primitive attribute, which is the generator. You know, uh, this is the null uh, that I uh, that I generated. You know, and I have two data attribute, which is to the next ID, and as you can see, the event. And but the most uh, uh, useful one, the more important one, are uh, this six, six point attribute, which is the velocity. Uh, uh, three velocities of vector, so acceleration also. Um, we have a life, p state, id, and parent. So, this is uh, the 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 the, the uh, attribute that you have inside. So we go back to our vop sop pop net uh, where we was, and they are listed here inside the global. If this parameter is not that doesn't exist here, you can uh, bring it inside by using the uh, middle, uh, with uh, by using the parameter. You know. Uh, you specify here in the in the name uh, which parameter you want to to import yeah, so or to uh, how to say uh, parameter that you want to uh, to bring inside the the VOP knob and you specify what type you know float vector angle blah 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 string file image or geometry or whatever so anyway we we j we don't want to bring the particle uh, the this attribute because we have it already here so we have velocity and uh, velocity uh, doesn't do anything you know velocity is uh, the point in position but uh, but there is a uh, in in in, in uh, if if you want to uh, the the important or the, the the useful attribute that we that we can extract from the velocity is the speed you know uh, like in NIAD you know we the two important uh, attribute are the uh, the the curl you know or the uh, the uh, how, how which is, which is, which is called in NIAD. Um, uh, so, which is the uh, vorticity or uh, the uh, the uh, the curl? It's going curl in I don't know what's happening today. I don't find the word. So, the the uh, the vorticity. Uh, the most common use for uh, vorticity is color uh, colorizing, for shading. You know, and the same thing does for for the the speed also. Uh, and this is what we are going to do here. So. So uh, the velocity, as I said, is the point velocity attribute. We have it here. Uh, so the first thing to do, I don't, I don't need this parameter. The first thing to do is to calcu calculate the speed. And to calculate the speed, uh, we just use the length because the length of the um, of the uh, in Houdini, the the, the, the length of the uh, velocity give you the speed. So, so to speak, we are going to uh, use the the length. So we bring the node here, and we uh, fit the point velocity attribute to the length, and uh, uh, to the length. Yeah, I just want to minimize to the length. Yeah, and we can fit it. Di we, c we can't fit it directly here uh, to the uh, because I want to map it to a kind of uh, a ramp. So what we need, we need um, a ramp. Uh, we need uh, something like a ramp parameter. And we feed this length to the ramp parameter and the ramp parameter to the point color attribute because I just want to see it in the uh, in the 
in the view here so you just want to see the particle as you can see they are black and white and nothing is, is happened here the first problem is because I just want to maximize this again uh, where I am here go back to the oh no uh, wait I don't click on the fog knob so this is it didn't calculate oh you know calculating so let me press escape so this is it so the first thing you can see here that are uh, the, the particle are colorizing uh, depending on the speed so if they have a higher speed they are white as you can see here uh, depending on the ramp here you can change the color if you want uh, we can put something like uh, red uh, so something like this and rewind and play again so you can see the uh, this is the oh wait what's this doing here so how to explain it? The range in the ramp is between zero and one, and uh, this is uh, mapped to the speed with which uh, which is calculate calculated. Let me let me let me go back to the vox uh, which is calculated with the length, you know. Uh, but the the first problem is uh, th this uh, this ramp. Uh, the value that we get from here is not uh, is not they don't really fit inside the ramp. And this is what we call uh, the problem that we have is that we have to fit the uh, the value that come through the length the, the or the value that the length calculate for us or the speed the value must be remap uh, uh, to uh, to a kind of uh, to a range between zero and one to get it fit exactly on the ramp and to get this let me maximize and to get this that's very basic you know to get this we we need we need a fit range you know just a simple uh, node here that we can feed inside and uh, if you have a bigger a bigger value you know uh, a bigger value you know here so the source minimum is zero and one and the, the first uh, destination uh, this, the first destination and the, the second destination the minimax you know uh, uh, between zero and one so we have here uh, uh, whatever we have here you know will be mapped to to zero and one so anyway uh, uh, so for example this value will be remapped to uh, to zero and one to fit the ramp if you want this is what this node does so we go back again to the uh, pop net because I won't see uh, I won't see the ramp here and we play it again and we're gonna see that uh, now we have now we have our uh, we have the right color because no really what's happened is the the value are mapped exactly to the ramp so the the higher the speed uh, 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 the higher the speed the white uh, will be zero and one and uh, in in this case we have uh, uh, w too much red because the they tend to uh, the speed because I put there uh, if I go back don't find find myself here go back to the fob knob and uh, put the source to zero what's happening here because <laughs> zero and one so because uh, I don't know which value is coming inside you know you don't have to care about it this who didn't calculate this for you so if I know the value I can I can feed them here but I don't know which 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 value I have which speed I have so Oh, what the heck is going? Is uh, okay. Uh, I, c I can play it. You know, I think you know. Uh, no, really, it's happened. Is uh, the 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 speed are colorizing uh, depending on the speed. This is it. So I think this is all what I was wanted to to show you. Um, yeah, this is the one of use of the uh, the velocity or the velocity channel that you can export or Im import or export from there or import to uh, Houdini in order to share. Thank you for watching and see you.